What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. Today we have a super fun video for you guys. We're making up some colored clay and we're doing it in a way that I've never done before. Um, it was kind of Kai's idea to do it this way. So we had a bunch of old B clay, which is how we make the colored clay. So for all the marbling stuff that we do and some other fun projects, we want some different colored clay. So right now we're gonna make dark turquoise. So we're gonna take you along the process, show you all how it's done. It's gonna be awesome. All right, a couple updates for you guys. We are in our brand new kiln shed that we have a gas kiln in, it's super exciting. I wanted to let you guys know we have completely redone our Patreon. So I wanted to say shout out to all the patrons who've supported us over the years. It's been immensely helpful to help us grow, to help us hire a full-time employee. Uh, but I have failed in the past at not delivering enough value. So we came up with all new tiers. You can get for $7 a month, you get an insanity mug at the end of the year or tumblers, or you can get a mug, a random mug sent to you every three months for like 16 bucks a month. If you're a plant lover, you can get a planter and a vase every six months. There's just some really cool different value things that we're doing. There's also a ton of other great benefits, like you get a percentage off coupons of all the online sales. You get early access, so you get to choose grab bag sales, uh, restocks, you guys get first pick, as well as a uh, pre-event party. So our pottery event that we do every August, we're having a little Patreon pre-party. Um, there's just tons of great value. There's some consulting on there. So if you're starting a business or you're interested in improving your pottery and you want one-on-one -on -one consulting with me, uh, we can do that. There's once every quarter meetings that I would do with you. So tons of great stuff. Go check it out. We'd really appreciate it. So Kai, first thing he's going to do is weigh out some clay. Yep. Yeah. So I'll take you along over there and we'll see what's going on. All right. So we got our B clay slip right there which that was just a bunch of hard clay yesterday, totally dried out, put it in a bucket with water, let it sit overnight, and then uh, Kai came and mixed it up this morning. So we're gonna take some of that. We probably don't need too much, no. right? Just like a couple pounds. Good. Yeah. Yep. And then, so we're gonna weigh out the clay so we know how much it is, and then we're gonna add color into it, and then we're going to use this sweet immersion blender to mix it up really nice and smooth. All right, so we're weighing it out. It's 2460. Uh, yeah, bucket's 212 grams. Ah, so you could just tear this, reset it, and then go to that. Right. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. And then we'll add some extra water. We should definitely be wearing masks for this. Yeah. Too far deep. <laughs> so we're going up to 224. It's gonna make a lot. Mm -hmm. That's good. There we go. We're gonna add a little bit of water in there. It's like ice cream. So we just took a little break to uh, test out the throwing of it. So we threw a pot, threw a vase, and then put the dark turquoise slip on top. But now what we're gonna do is put this actually on a piece of wood. Look at that. So this is the dark turquoise slip that will will let it dry over, I don't know, maybe by the end of today, you think, if we put it outside, or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, then we'll wedge it up and it'll be Ready to go. Here's our clay drying station over here. Kai's been doing mostly a lot of the recycling of the clay. So the dark turquoise that we had from last week is right here. And so basically when you pour the slip on, obviously it's at the super wet stage, and then you gotta wait for it to dry until it's like ready to be wedged up into a ball like this. So we did this one, uh, or Kai did this one, and right now he's got He's doing this red iron oxide clay, right? And so we're right at the point now when dry enough that we can actually wedge it up and then get it into a state in which it's workable. Yeah, how's the process been going? Long, but good. Hopefully get some good clay out of it. So in these buckets, we got all different colors. So we got the dark turquoise, the pink. This is like a gray of some sort. Then we got, this one's already mixed up. Uh, lots of different colors. So that's the point, is we're just trying to mix up a bunch of different colors. 
Um, but the thing about clay is that there's like a specific consistency that you have to have the clay in to work with it. And so it can't be so wet that it's slip and it's sticky and it just gets everywhere, but it can't be too dry that it's too firm. So like controlling that, where that clay is on the spectrum, um, is kind of difficult, especially in humid weather like it is right now. So it's still too wet. So we got to leave it and let it sit for a little bit. When he tries to put it down, it's just gonna stick to his hands. It's gonna stick to the table. So this is like right on the wet side. Like you can't have it any more wet than this. And then as you wedge it, hopefully it does get a little more air into it. So then it will be a little firmer. All right, so there you guys have it. That is how to make a colored clay in a new way. So we did it with the slip instead of like mixing the powder into the clay, which I don't know, what do you think? It'll work better? I think if we get it down, we can. We, if we get our system down a little bit better, I don't know if it saved any time, yeah, but maybe the clay is just in a little bit better consistency, not so chunky. So anyway, that's all you need to know about this. And the Epic Pottery event is in August. Love to see you there, August 12th and 13th. And our next restock is gonna be July 9th. So that's the online restock. But we should try and keep stuff, we're trying to keep stuff stocked on the online shop all the time. So just go check out the Etsy shop if you wanna get any pots. Gas kiln should be up and running pretty soon. All right, thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.